Hey everyone, Mano back here for another Destiny 2 strategy guide. In the last video I made for you, I showed you how to glitch out the tribute hall so you could place all 50 tributes without using any resources at all all. If you haven't checked out that video, click the card in the top right hand corner. However, many people commented that they had already started the Bad Juju quest line and that they weren't able to glitch out the chest and all the tributes. However, there is another method that you can use that's not or even a glitch that you can actually use to farm planetary materials easily. It doesn't involve any boons of opulence, any discount increases. It doesn't even involve playing. It actually involves a little bit of matchmaking magic inside of the game. So there's a couple of really easy steps you need to follow along with. However, if you haven't started the bad juju or tribute quest at all on any characters, click the card in the top right hand corner to see how to place all 50 tributes for free. That way you don't have to use this method. All right, the first step you are going to do is get yourself to under 500 power level. What we're gonna do is make it so we don't match make with current power level guardians because we're gonna go into a special activity to get that taken care of. Two easy places to get low level gear is to go to Hawthorne and pick up the green items that she has and use any Eververse gear that you have because the Eververse gear will come in at about 10 power level and all of the stuff that Hawthorne has is 200. You can see I'm at 472, I was at 750. Here's my current loadout I'm going to go into this activity with. I had some low level gear in my vault plus some Eververse stuff plus the things that I got from Hawthorne. What you want to do next is find a time when you will not be playing Destiny. That's maybe when you're going to bed, maybe you're going to be making dinner, doing chores, something like that. Now, it sounds weird, but stay with me. What you're going to do next is go to one of the forges attached with the Black Armory. What you're going to do is choose the planet that maybe you're low on planetary materials. If you're looking for Data Lattice, go to Nessus. If you're looking for Dusklight Shards, go to Earth. What you're going to do next is go to one of the forge activities and start it up. It will put you in a different type of matchmaking, and this is key. As soon as you've entered in that matchmaking, put your controller down and go do something else. I am not joking here. Here is the reason why this works. Because you are such a low power level, you'll never be matched with people who are actually trying to complete this for real. We don't ever want to do that to other people either. We don't want to make it more difficult for those people to, to go in. We either want to go in with other people who are trying to do this farming method or go in alone. But because you're such a low power level, you'll never get matched with anyone who's actually trying to do it. And this is the key. Because every time you die or you're in forge matchmaking, you'll never get kicked to orbit. You just keep on going back to the forge activities, go back into the forge, go back into forge matchmaking, back and forth and back and forth. Every time you fail, which is about one minute after you get loaded into the game, you'll be rewarded with planetary materials for free. Those are the green materials that are on the ground. This is one of the most insane techniques that you can use to farm. In addition, you'll also get bright engrams for bright dust that you also need for the tributes. After about an hour, I was rewarded with one bright engram or best of year one engram. In addition, I had about 150 or so data lattice and then about 84 dusk light shards. Now, I did switch between the two forges because I realized I have plenty of dusk light shards, but I need data lattice. So I just picked up my controller, went to the other forge on Nessus, and we were set. That was after one hour I went to go make dinner and it was great. If you want to increase the amount of bright engrams, use a ghost that has the guiding light perk on it. Like you can see here on my Knight's Peace shell, I've got a guiding light option here. So that will increase my XP gains for free, for doing nothing. It will take me no time. After about one day, maybe 12 hours of doing this, it, it, I had like thousands of shards. Um, I did it over on PC. Now, because of that, you'll have plenty of materials to trade with Spider, Devrima on Earth, who will take the Dusklight shards, and Failsafe on Nessus, who will then take the Data Lattice. After that, it's really easy for you to just buy the materials you need for all the tributes. If you have tons of planetary materials, just go to the planet that had the planetary materials that you harvested, turn all those in and get legendary items for them, break them down, and you'll have tons of legendary engrams. 
you will be set for everything that you need for the tributes. So guys, I hope this helped you with all of your tribute farming. If you did like something in this video, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button and the bell for more Destiny 2 content. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Join us over on twitch.tv slash manodestra777 for live streams, help on raids, exotic missions, and things like that. Good hunting guardians, and I'll see you next time in the universe of Destiny.